I would like to welcome you all to this session on interfaces in Java. First of all, I introduce myself. My, my name is Mrs. N. Anita. I am working as an assistant professor, Department of Com Master of Computer Applications. Let us see about interfaces in Java. What is an interface? Interface is a mechanism which is used to achieve which is used to achieve fully abstraction and multiple inheritance in Java. Mechanism used to achieve fully abstraction <coughs> and multiple inheritance in If you want to know about the fully abstraction, first of all you should know know about the some terms what is an abstraction. Abstraction means it hides hides the implementation details of a functions. which means that it only shows a characteristics and behavior of a functions. The best example for abstraction is TV remote control. In TV remote control, the user only knows how to use the functions of a remote control. They doesn't know about how it works. Next of all, we should know some more terms. The term is, what is an abstract method? Another thing is, what is an concrete method? Abstract method, it is a method, this methods only can be declared but we cannot be defined. For example, the abstract method always prefixed by a keyword abstract followed by an written type of the method, then we should specify the name of the method, for example, this it should be terminated by a comma. It does not have any body of the statements. But concrete method, it is a, it likes a normal method. Which can be defined. Example for concrete method is. Wide display. This method can be defined. By using this method, we are going to display some message. The message is welcome to display method. So if you, once you, we know about abstract method and concrete method, then we can know the difference between fully abstraction and partial abstraction. Uh, already we know that abstract class, 
then interface abstract class can have the both abstract method and also it contains concrete methods but interface only have the collection of abstract method so that the abstract class is also called as an partial abstract class partial abstract class and interface is also called as an fully abstract class fully abstract class so through which we can achieving a fully abstraction but we cannot be achieved by an partial abstract, abstract class next we see about how to declare an interface next one is interface declaration before seeing this syntax of inter interface we should know what are all the members of an interface the interface can have only two types of members they are one is an variables variables of type public static final and another member of an interface is an methods it can have one or more methods of type public abstract is called as an access specifier this is an access specifier of access specifier or signature of an variable signature of a variable but public abstract is called as an access specifier or signature of an method signature of a method next we see about syntax of an interface interface can be defined by using an keyword interface followed by an name of the interface interface name starts with an open curly brace in that we should declare an variable with type specify the variable name here we can create n number of variables in an interface like as it can have n number of methods the method should have a return type you should specify it followed by a name of the methods the methods may or may not have the argument list here 
here also we can declare n number of methods the method should be terminated by a semicolon at last you have to close the close it by close curly brace here interface can have n number of variables all the variables should have the constant values while declaring that variable and then the methods we can create n number of methods each method should be terminated by n semicolon because this is uh, interface only contains n abstract methods Ab abstract methods cannot be defined now we are going to see about one example for an interface now i am going to create an one interface with the name of person now we are going to see about example for an interface interface the name of the interface is an person here we are going to create only one variable its data type is int a is equal to 10 then i am going to declare one method the name of the method is display once the interface has been created we can implement this interface into a class before uh, before implementing that interface you should keep in mind that whenever we are declaring an variable you should assign some initial value to the variable which means that whenever we are cre creating an variable it should assign some values it, which means that constructor interface does not contain any constructors one way is at the time of declaration we can initialize the variable another way is by using an constructor we can initialize the variables the here there is only one way is possible to initialize the variables so that you should assign the constant values at uh, then and there itself you are creating an variables next you are going to implementing an interface implementation of an interface once interface has been created more than one class can implement an interface by using an keyword implements if any class wants to implement an interface by using an keyword implements it can implement an interface first one is syntax for implementation of inter interface is class using an class keyword followed by an name of the class then you should specify the implements keyword after that we should specify the interface name which is going to be implemented here interface name next it can have the body of the class here once the interface is implemented by a class all the methods in an interface should be defined by a class otherwise suppose here only one method is we have declared suppose more than one methods are declared we are not missing to defining any one of the methods it will show a error message and also you should keep in mind that method definition <coughs> you should specify the access specifier public example for implementation of an interface 
now we are going to create in one class with the class name a class class name a which implements an interface person here you should define all the methods declared in an interface while defining an methods of an interface you should specify the access specifier as public explicitly you should specify the access specifier as public followed by an return type of the method followed by a name of the method here i am going to display some message welcome to display method it is in method of an interface the class can have own methods that also can be defined here the method name is so system dot out dot println it shows in messages welcome to show method once class was created you should next thing is you should create an main class the name of the main class is demo open curly brace under this you should specify an main method why you are creating main method class means if you want to access the methods in a class through object only we can access the methods in a class for that we should create an object for a class a by using an class name class name is what a and then you should specify the name of the object equal to using a new operator then followed by an you should call the constructor now the object has been created which the name is a1 by using an object we can call all the methods which are all available in a class how many methods are available here two methods are available which can be called by using an object with dot operator display of the next method is so method and also the interface have one variable that variable can also be called here by using an class object a1 dot a so here we have directly call so that it has to be passed to a system dot out dot println then only the value will be displayed now the class wants to here this method is before going to see that you must know that this is a method of an interface this is a method of an class own method of an class so here the class wants to restrict to access their own methods it can be possible in that situation you should not create object for a class instead of you should create the reference variable for an interface so just you have to change it here so by how how can you create the reference variable for an interface by using an interface name the interface name is person followed by an you should specify the 
reference variable of an interface p1 is equal to new and then you should call the class constructor because by using an interface we can only creates an reference variable but we cannot create an but it does not allocate any memory it requires some memory the memory will be allocated by a class so by using this reference variable it is called as a reference variable by using this variable we can call the methods which are all declared in an interface p1 p1 dot what is the method which is declared under an interface display suppose by using an in reference variable you are calling a class own method that is so method what will be happen while compiling this program it shows an error message because we cannot by using an reference variable we cannot call the own methods of an class we can only call the methods which is declared in a interface next we see about class can implement more than one interface at a time in such a case the interface name should be separated by a comma the syntax for implementing an more than one interface into a class now we are going to see the syntax syntax of implementing a more than one interface interface into a class for that we should specify the keyword class followed by an class name then using the keyword implements then you should give the name of the interface interface 1 and then one more interface you want to give now no for that you should use the operator comma interface 2 like as n number of interface n number of interface can be implemented by a single class here we should know that once the class has implemented more than one interface at that time the class should have the should provide the implementation code for all the methods in all n interfaces suppose for example interface 1 can have two methods interface 2 can have some three methods interface n may have n number of methods all the interface should be should be defined by the class next we see about interface inheritance what is an inheritance inheritance means one class can acquire the properties of more than one class that is an inheritance the java does not directly supports an inheritance 
this can be achieved by an interface the interface can directly supports an multiple inheritance here inter here what is an interface inheritance interface inheritance which means that it can directly inherit all the resources of more than one interfaces by using an keyword extends we are using an keyword extends to declare an interface inheritance now we are going to see the example program for an interface inheritance here we are going to create three different types of inheritance such as i1 i2 and i3 the i3 is going to implement the properties of an i1 and i2 example is first we should create an interface which is going to be extended by an some other interface interface the name of the interface is an i1 interface i1 declares one variable j equal to 10 and uh, and also declares one method which return type is int j1 of then it also declares one more interface interface i2 which declares only one method its return type is double method name is k1 of next these two interfaces interfaces are going to be used by an another interface which is named as an interface i3 so how it can be implemented by using an keyword extends and then you should specify which are all the interface is going to be extended here i1 comma i2 then the i3 interface have one more methods its return type is boolean name of the method is l1 here the i3 interface i3 will holds holds the declarations of declarations of all three methods which are all specified in a i3 i1 i2 and i3 interfaces the methods such as j1 k1 and l1 now if the class wants to implement all the interfaces into a class the class no need to implement all the interfaces through i3 interface it can inherit all the methods which are all declared in i1 i2 and i3 class class name is sample now it is going to implement an interface i3 then open curly brace we can define all the methods in all three interfaces public return type is int j1 of it returns the value of integer as 100 here next we can define the k1 method its return type is double k1 of return 25.9 next method is public boolean l1 of 
here it returns in either boolean return type returns either true or false now we have created a class in that class we have implemented all the methods which are all declared in all the interfaces if you want to access all the method for that you should create an object for a class how can we create an object for a class by class the name of the main class is test then followed by an you should call main method public static void main string also here under the main method you should create an object for a class the class name is sample you should create an object name as s1 equal to new sample of here we have created an object the object name is s1 by using this object we can call all the methods in a class s1 dot this method returns some value no that values has to be printed for that you should call system dot out dot print ln then by using an object we can call the methods j1 of system dot out dot print ln here abbreviated word is given s1 dot k1 of next s1 dot l1 of one interface have the variable with constant values that variable can also be called by using an object s1 for that you should define the statement s1 dot a now we have called all the methods now we are compiling this program and run that program what will be the output the output is what will be the output it returns while calling s1.j1 what will it return this method returns an integer value 10 next while calling this method what value it can return by this method 25.9 next you are calling the l1 method it returns boolean value that value is true here we have called the variable value of that variable is here we have declared the variable j so you should change here j the value of variable j is 10 this is the output which is written by this program that's all about the interfaces